all I want to do is eat roast chicken every day. You feel me? What's up guys? It's your girl Em and I'm back with another cooking video for you today. Now today, I'm doing something a little wild. It's kind of late to be roasting a chicken, but whatever. It's like 10 p.m. <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry about it. But I figured I might as well make a video out of it. Now, this recipe for roasting chicken is Ina Garten's recipe. Ina Garten is an OG chef, cookbook author, Food Network star. Like, she's amazing. She's queen of the world, in my opinion. And this is her recipe. I just wanted to let you guys know that it's all Ina Garten. I always say, if I don't want to cook for him, I'm sure somebody else will be very happy to do it for me. I'm not taking any chances. I've always been scared of roasting chicken. I always thought it was like out of my league, that I wouldn't be able to do it. But it's really, honestly, I've only done it once, so I'm an expert. But it's really not that hard. Just watch Ina Garten. I literally watched her make this chicken so many times before I actually made it that I feel like I could do it in my sleep. I just love Ina Garten, so anything she makes is amazing. It kind of came in handy because I always wanted to try this recipe. I always wanted to make this roast chicken, but then this pandemic happened. One of the few things that was still in the meat department was a whole chicken. So I said, you know what? If I'm gonna do it, it's now or never, man. So I bought the whole chicken, I made it, and it was delicious, and now here I am making it again for you guys. Now the one that I bought last time had the neck and the giblets. And first, remove the giblets. This one does not, so. If you're a little bit scared of the neck and the giblets, it was honestly scary and creepy and I did not enjoy that part of it. Find one that doesn't have the neck or the giblets and this one doesn't. Let me just go ahead and get into the ingredients or whatever. So first things first, you're gonna have a whole chicken. This is like almost five pounds, almost five pounds. And I got an organic one. Now mine was a little bit pricier, worth it in my opinion. It's just gonna taste so delicious. I've got two tablespoons of butter, lemon. She uses... My oven is preheated at 425. <laughs> now she uses a whole lemon, but this chicken is smaller than my other one, so I'm just gonna use half of one. A whole onion, a bunch of thyme, fresh thyme from the grocery store, carrots, oh I already said onion, duh, and then garlic cloves, sea salt, and pepper. And then here is some kitchen twine because I'm going to need to truss it. Let my chicken chill, I'm going to put her in the sink. Alright, I'm going to chop up my carrots first because my carrots and my onion they are going to be in the bottom of my little roasting pan here. I'm gonna do like three carrots, okay? Wash them, wash your carrots. I'm just gonna cut the ends off of my carrots. Now this recipe calls for fennel as well, but there was no fennel at the grocery store. So I'm going with that. I'm doing this without it. They didn't have it the last time I made it either. And I'm sure it adds something to the dish, but it's still just as good. All these carrots, I'm going to slice. I'm gonna have them down the center. <laughs> and then we'll have them again. And then I'm gonna cut them like this. Probably use some more carrots actually. 
I'm just gonna put the ones that I cut up in the roasting pan. You know what? I think one carrot will actually, or two carrots will actually be sufficient, especially in this small of a dish. Now I'm just gonna chop my onion. I'm also gonna show you guys, I'm gonna make a video on what to do with your leftovers from your roast chicken. I also do all of this for my, um, like whenever I get a grocery store a rotisserie chicken, I like to use all of that up as well. It's really nice when you can get two meals out of out of something. That's like a big thing for me. I love it. Save your time, save your money, save your energy. Now for the onions, I'm going to cut the little butts off. And I'm just going to do that. Just cut it in quarters, basically. Lay these all out in the bottom of the pan. This recipe is going to be in the description down below. It's super easy to follow along and it gives you a video. So that's very helpful. Because it's kind of scary trying new things and new recipes. You want to make sure that you're doing it right, you know? Ooh, these onions are going to start making me tear up. Oh my gosh. What's going to happen with these veggies? They're going to caramelize and they're going to... Oh, they, they just taste so good. Like melts in your mouth. I swear. See? I've got them all situated in there. Done, those are done -zo. You don't even have to worry about those anymore. As far as Miss Chicken goes, we're gonna open her up real quick. Miss Chicken, Miss Chicken. Gross. Have you ever seen the inside of a chicken? Bark, 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 bark. Okay, that's gross. All right, there's still some nastiness in there, so I'm gonna clean that out. I'm gonna clean her off a little bit in the sink. Run some water on her. There we go, girl. Here she is. Let's. You want to check to make sure there's no pin feathers in the wings. Just make sure she's nice and clean. Are you wondering? This cutting board gets sanitized after every use, so do not worry about this cutting board at all. The salt inside of Miss Chicken. We're gonna add the salt inside. You good, girl? We're gonna add pepper. My camera cut off, but I just added pepper inside as well, just like just like how I use the salt. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my lemon and I'm gonna cut it into quarters. I'm just gonna stuff it right in there. This is a messy job, not gonna lie. It's a messy little recipe. Worthwhile knowing. All right, I've got the lemons inside, and I'm gonna take my head of garlic, and I'm just gonna cut through it down the middle. It's kind of hard to do, I'm not gonna lie. Kind of broke apart, but it's okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna take my pieces of garlic, and you guessed it, they're going right into Miss Chicken. Take my time, not take my time, but take my time seasoning. This whole area is gonna get sanitized. This knife, everything is gonna get sanitized. I'm gonna take about this much out to keep. I'm gonna stuff all of this into Miss Chicken. So she's really getting, you know, she's getting a ton of flavor and spice put into her insides. <laughs> All right, so you just stuff the thyme in there. And what I'm gonna do, we're gonna take Miss Chicken, we're gonna put her in our roasting pan. Let's move this. 
because I don't I'm gonna put my roasting pan on raw chicken juice. Here she is in the roasting pan with the onions and the carrots. Let me wash my hands real quick. A little, just a skillet and melt my butter. While this butter is melting, we're gonna have a chat. The last time I roasted the chicken, a couple weeks ago, I got quite a few comments, quite a few messages about, where's the seasoning? Girl, you better season that. Blah, 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 blah. Come here, come here. If you've watched any of my cooking videos, any of them, you will know that I know how to season food. Okay, I'm not afraid of spices. Honey, we use them all in my house. When you're roasting a chicken at such high temperatures and for as long as we're gonna be roasting it, when you put too much seasoning on the chicken, it starts to burn and it kind of ruins the flavor. So that is why we just put some melted butter and some salt and pepper on the chicken because all of those, there's tons of flavor in the meat and what's going on on the inside. You do not need to put 17 different seasonings. If you want to, go ahead, that's your prerogative. My butter, my butter is melting nicely. Gosh, I love doing this. I love making this roast chicken because it makes you feel like a little fancier. It's like fancier than a regular meal. All right, I'm gonna take my kitchen twine I got this at Family Dollar, so, you know, shout out to Family Dollar. And you're gonna take her two little, her little drumsticks, her little wings back here. And you're just going to tie them up. Now this helps her cook evenly. Okay. This helps the bird, Miss Chicken. This helps her cook evenly. So you just tie her on up. It's kind of bondagey, but whatever. This chicken is tied up. Okay? And then you also want to tuck her wings. Do a nice little tuck. You're kind of far away, so you can't really see what I'm doing. If you watch the video of Ina, she shows you how to do it, so you just kind of tuck it. Now I'm gonna take my butter and pour it all on this chicken. And then, pepper. Salt. Now I'm gonna take the rest of my thyme and just put it in the bottom of the pan with the veggies. Looks like Miss Chicken's ready to go, huh? I pop her in the oven. She's gonna be in here a while. Miss Chicken is gonna leave us for a little bit and when she comes back, she's gonna look like she's had some work done. For the better, you know? And I'm just gonna plop her in. All right, goodbye Miss Chicken. We'll see you later, girl. Be in there for about an hour, hour and a half. I clean up the kitchen and kind of chill with Abel, you know, do my regular thing. And then I'm gonna show you guys how I make my green beans. So we're gonna have chicken with some veggies tonight for dinner. Because honestly, I feel like I've been eating like a lot of starches, a lot of pasta, and I just need a really good, clean meal. You feel me? All right, I'll see you guys in a little while. Well, to you, it's like not even a second, but to me, we'll see you guys in an hour and a half. <laughs> One hour later. All right, guys, so Vaughn is playing the game in the background, so if you hear him, <laughs> just ignore him. He doesn't have anything relevant to say. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Miss Chicken. Ooh, Miss Chicken, you're looking mighty fine today. Look at her. Gorgeous. 
gorgeous. So I'm gonna Good check. Job, baby. Thank you. I'm gonna check to see if she's done. I think she is. Does she look done to you? I mean, yeah. Look, looks pretty done to me. All right, guys. So I don't think she's quite done. Gonna give her a little more time, Miss Chicken, but she's looking beautiful. I'm gonna take some of the juices on the bottom and baste. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be so good. These veggies are looking nice and caramelized. Yes, Miss Chicken. So we're gonna cook her about 20 more minutes. 20 minutes later. All right, so Miss Chicken, I think she is done. Look at all those juices. Oh my gosh. Amazing. She is a little dark and I think it's just because I have like a smaller bird. The last one I had, I made, it was like six pounds and this one is like four. So I think that's kind of why that happened but this just looks amazing. Now, I'm gonna let this rest for about 20 minutes. It's important to let your your bird rest, your veggies rest. Miss Chicken, she's had a long day. She's had a long day, she needs her rest. So just wrap it up in foil. There we go. And let it rest for about 20 minutes. Now in the meantime, I'm gonna make some green beans. And I just have fresh green beans right here that I chopped and washed. Nothing too special, but the trick is, you see this? This is bacon grease. This is saved bacon grease. And we're gonna fry up our green beans and some bacon grease. So I'm just gonna take about that much of bacon grease and put it in my pan. And with the heat, it's gonna warm up just like a butter would, just like olive oil, but it's bacon grease. Let me use a little more. And this gives green beans really good flavor. Now, is it the healthiest? No, but is it? Delicious. Yes. Take my green beans. Throw them in the pan. You hear that sizzle? And these don't cook very long. My granny taught me that with the bacon grease. Add some salt. Or you could just fry up a couple pieces of bacon and chop it up and put the green beans in with that. She does that too, so. Either way, pepper, and some onion powder, and garlic powder. And that's it. I'm just gonna let these cook up a little bit. Let the chicken rest. And we are done. 20 minutes later. All right, so this is how my green beans came out. And look at Miss Chicken. Look at those caramelized veggies. Oh, yes. Look at all that juice. This is going to be delicious. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Honestly, if you want a real good instructions <laughs> to on how to make this roast chicken, I'll have the link in the description down below that has the recipe and there's a video attached to the recipe on that website. So go ahead and watch that. This is just like my new favorite thing, roasting chickens. I just want to roast a chicken every day of my life. And I think that's it for this video. I'm going to go ahead and let this rest a little longer. And I made Vaughn some rice. But yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. 
I hope you guys make some roast chicken and you love it because it's not as hard as you think. You can do it. You're totally capable of roasting a chicken. And that's it. Go follow my Twitter at MNMan and my Instagram at Midwest Mansfield. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Mwah!